That was Next up, one. we have James Blankenship versus Mark Dina, heavyweight. Now, I got James mixed up earlier with Matt Blankenship. Both guys are fighting out of the same camp in Oceana. And uh, both these guys are dangerous. I've watched James training. I've seen him on the heavy bag. I've seen him putting in work. And he's very dangerous. We got Matt Blankenship and Mark Dean back in there. Now, we get to see what's what. Woo! Woo! Now, unfortunately, you know, the spotlight was stolen from between these two men in the ring. Now, we got the order back in the building, and we're going to get to watch a very good fight here. Yeah, we are set and get ready to have this heavyweight boxing bout between James Blankenship and Mark Dean. Here we, we go. We are underway. Oh, Here we guys. go. Seems like a little filling out process. I don't know where these guys' minds are after seeing that. I mean, yeah, you would stay focused, but knowing that you was about to fight, you was in your zone, and then all of a sudden you turn your head and boom, there's a brawl breaking out in the crowd. Where do you go from there? Oh, timed it perfectly. Huge left hook, right hand. Hammered Mark Dean. That ain't good. You get caught that early like that, that clean. It's not a good sign for what's to come. I'd, like I said, I watched James train, and I watched him on the bag. He's, he's, he's sharp. He knows how to box. As we're in the final 10 seconds of this bout, of uh, oh, first round, Man. Good Lord. Oh. He almost gotta... pushing him out of the ring. We had a little mini shot after the bell, but what a way to open round one between these two. As you see Danny Beverly coming in and giving us the signs for round two. Round number two coming up. I don't know what was more. In... You want to say that brawl in the crowd was fought of the night? <laughs> I mean, that got a lot of people on their feet. If I don't get fight of the night, I'm going to cry. <laughs> yeah. You should, man. You really held your own there. Now, ladies John and Johnson. gentlemen, now you really do have to come and make sure you buy your tickets to see it in-house. Yeah. Just in case this thing's sold out, you got to buy the pay-per-view. Tell your friends about it. Say, say, tell them that there is extra content yeah, with there New is. Line. There, there is. is extra content to contend with. Yep, you got action in I'm, the ring. There's so much content to contend with that I feel contented. And yep. there's not even any alcohol involved in this place. Just no. imagine. No, as we were set for round two between Dean and Blankenship. Let's see if Dean can get back on his bike here. And Oh, oh. man, that right hand's money for Blankenship. And Dean doesn't know how to stop it. His left hand's so low all the time. Blankenship's getting a little bit excited, though. You notice? Yeah, he is. He's getting a little excited. You see them hands, you know, they're just ready to fire. If he would just stay loose like he was when he landed that first huge shot, he was loose. He landed that left hook, right hand. Right there it was again. I'd love to see him really throw. He threw the jab right hand there, but, like, that left hook, right hand, that, that was money. I don't think I've yet to see him throw it again. Well, see? what Dean needs to do, he He's needs chasing him too much. Yeah. He's chasing him almost too much. He's, he smells that finish. That's what it is. You land a big knockdown like that, and you just you start smelling blood. You know, if you're Dean right there, though, what you need to do, you need to circle that lead foot. He's circling to the opposite side, which is leaving him open to that big right hand that he got caught with. He starts circling around the other way. Might have a little bit more success. He's definitely going to need some kind of stoppage here in round three to take it unofficially, of course. But – I tell you what, this guy's tough as nails, though. I mean, he's got heart. That's the thing. He's like, game. he went three rounds with bowling, and now you see him knocking on the door of going three rounds with a guy like Blankenship, who you've seen has got mad power. Absolutely. The, the dude's tough. Dude is tough. Can't get any tougher than that. As we're getting ready set for our third and final round of this bout. As... Again, this fight is brought to you by KC Productions. 
As we're set for round number three between Bank Blankenship and Dean. Nice jab there. It looks like Blankenship's, Blankenship switched stances. You guys notice that? Yes. Yeah, he has. He's coming out southpaw now, and he's throwing that right hand as his lead. Yep. The reason why he's doing that is because he – oh, look at that. Oh, I don't think Mark Dean knows how to deal with it either. Like he's, good shot by Blankenship. He's good, too, at southpaw. He's, he's using, just as sharp. He's using that lead hand a little slap. You know, that's a, that's a sign. See, he's calmed down, too. You notice? Yep. He's throwing good combos now. He's not just chasing him. That's the thing. That's why I don't think he put him away. I think he could put him away if he just stays real patient, picks his shots. One thing I noticed about the spot the whole time, Blankenship has had Dean on the ropes every single round. Oh, good shot by Blankenship. He's got he Dean rocked. This one's going to go to distance, ladies and gentlemen. This one's going to the distance, but I think we all know who won this one. Oh, absolutely, but mad respect for both fighters as we've seen. Make it all three rounds in a fight like this. I mean, listen, Dean is a tough competitor, but Blankenship, he, he just got power, man. And once he calmed down there in that third round, he went back to the same roots as the first round, and he almost had a mimic performance is what he had in the first round. You seen him get a little bit wild and a little bit antsy in the second. That's why not much really came out of it. But what a beautiful fight from both men. And momentarily, we're going to have the judges' official scorecard. Ladies and gentlemen, that was fight 14 out of 17. And so we, we well, got three I, more fights. Actually, that was fight 14 out of 18. Yes, you didn't want to count yes. that. It prompt to. Yes. Which yes, you was on the table. You had the best view out of all of us. I did. Hey, now I kind of wish we were down by the ringside. We could have turned around and we could have saw a great view. Yeah, I'm sorry, Elijah. I guess my dumb mistake got us up here. I tried to tell you we could have been ringside. Well, next time, don't listen to me. Well, next time, I'm not going to be fighting anymore, so I'm going to oversee all this stuff. Yeah. I'm retiring, ladies and gentlemen. I was I'm worried, just worried about I'm an Jack old man. Foster's hair. He's got that Cali Surfer beach hair. I was afraid it was going to get hurt down yeah, there. Yeah, man, the he scuffle. just got back from L.A. You don't want to see him get his face messed up. Yeah. Let's hear this. 30-26. Yeah, it's going to be unanimous for blanket ship here. As we suspected. Well deserved win, but a great fight from both men. Man, you gotta give it up for the heart of Mark Dean for getting up after that huge knockdown. You know what I mean? Like, that was rough. Yeah, he could easily just I don't it know in. if I'd have got up. I don't know if any of us here at this commentary table would have got up from that. 